Welcome each and every one of you to episode number 27 of my run through Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, last episode we finished the Painted World. And uh, this episode we are going to go deeper into Arna Londo. Um, I actually think if uh, anyone um, really followed this uh, video series you're probably waiting for the upcoming part uh, because everyone loves to see someone fall off uh, the the um, ceilings uh, where the silver knights start to bully you with their great ar uh, great bows and also people love to see Someone getting beaten repeatedly by Ornstein and Smog. So I try my best to not satisfy your wishes and, uh, well, I'm, I'm just uh, assuming that you want to see that. Maybe uh, you're just uh, you're just a genuine genu good guy and uh, you're happy for me g getting through this game so uh, good and so fast. So maybe that's what's happening here. I don't know. Okay, we see these guys there. Those are the guys who carried us to Arnolondo. First of all, we will have uh, two huge guys there. We can actually pull them out. So I'm just walking over here until one of them is like aggroed and try to get him down here. I should be able to kill him like in three hits or something like that. One two and three yes um okay the reason why i right now i'm oh nice a giant's halberd i might want to try that one out so the reason why i'm kind of um really know what's going on in this area right now is uh, currently my girlfriend is playing Dark Souls for her first time and I'm kind of coaching her to keep the frustration level low um, sometimes warning her about stuff that uh, just would upset someone who's new to the game um, uh, some might argue I would ruin her Dark Souls experience as I'm warning her about some traps and stuff like that but uh, for the most part I'm pretty positive that what I'm doing is just uh, helping her to keep the patience okay I can one shot them with a uh, jumping heavy yeah but uh, then the, the the one thing why I kinda really get to oh shit um, Oh, I I just accidentally did my heavy slash there. That was not what I wanted. Oh shit, not the normal heavy slash. I wanted the jumping one, and it's kind of bad that uh, um, I uh, have so much points right now because. If those guys would stagger me when I accidentally do my uh, normal heavy slash instead of my jumping heavy, then I would be able to dodge afterwards. So, yeah, so watching my girlfriend play this game makes you know the parts that she's doing so well. Because uh, my girlfriend is someone who is, when she's playing, pretty. Um, how do I say that? She kind of plays slow but steady. Um, she's not like comparing with me. I am usually just rushing in. She is just moving forward very, very carefully and slowly. And she does not want to get surprised by anything. She's uh, using a bow just to pull enemies all the fucking time. <laughs> um, well, that might sound a little bit annoyed, but it's not. 
Uh, it's absolutely fine. Everyone plays the game the way they want to. But sometimes uh, it actually is exhausting to watch her as uh, she uh, just takes so long for so many parts. So here we go. Um, maybe the one of the... Uh, this is not maybe. This is one of the hardest parts in the game. For those who don't know, these guys with great arrows, if they hit you, you you don't just take damage. You just you're sent flying. So um, as you can see, it's really easy to fall off here. So one shot and we are dead. So we want to run up here. Oh, and we're dead. Yes, uh, that's uh, the magic of Arno Londo. The Silver Knights are absolute assholes. I uh, no, I don't hide, hate them. So many people hate them. Um, if you followed some of my videos, you should know by now that I am a horrible masochist, and um, therefore I kind of love them for what they do, for tearing me apart again and again. I mean, it, it would have been cool if I uh, would have been able to just clear this area in one shot. But uh, then again, it wouldn't be the real Arno Londo experience if I don't fall off at least once. I mean, you, you, um, to explain in depth what happened there, um, I just was uh, looking to the left side and thought, okay. The archer on the left side has no sight on me, so I only have to worry about the one on the right side. I uh, started to go and prepare to dodge the great arrow that is going to uh, shot by the guy in front of me. But right before I wanted to dodge his arrow, I got hit by an arrow in my back. Which staggered me, so I couldn't roll anymore. And the one... Uh, the arrow that the one from in the front of me shot just did the job. So in that situation there I could have get gotten lucky. Um, that was a possibility and what that would mean wa would be I would uh, I, I could have uh, not knocked off the latch but uh, knocked off in a way that I still am living. It did not happen, but sometimes it happens. It's kind of the best uh, shot you would get. If you get to that point and you get hit by an arrow and don't fall off, but instead keep living, um, that's most likely the try where you win it. Like, not most likely. You can still uh, fuck up, especially considering that uh, people tend to panic in situations like that. Oh shit, he jumped uh, further than I expected him to. Dude, can you... Can you just not do that? This guy. These guys can drop their spears. If I wouldn't be such a, um, a strength based uh, character right now, I might would want to try to um, use one of those because I like their weapons. I like the demon weapons in general. So these guys are some kind of demons. Um, Pretty much indicated by the fact. Oh, damn it! Pretty much indicated by, dude. I am almost dead right now. Stop it! Oh, got it. Okay. So these guys usually are don't too much of a big problem, but uh, as you can see, sometimes their back jumps just uh, do the job and. That can screw you over pretty badly. So, um. What 
wanted uh, did I want to say just now? I wanted to say uh Oh yeah, uh, about the weapon. Okay, usually one of them will fall off eventually. There we go. Oh, ah yeah, he's he's done. So now I have only one to worry about. And uh, there we go again. Silver Knights, here I come. Okay, there's that Silver Knight. Let's think about this. Uh, is there... So, I think uh, they are just in plain sight of each other. So, I kind of just have to try to get through fast somehow. Oh! I think, w was there a, one of them behind me? Oh shit, I thought I can uh, just uh, get like around him. <laughs> I wasn't able to, but that was pretty close. I, I don't know, was was there a, black, uh, a silver knight like that was able to shoot me in the back there? I, um, I had problems like, I, I think I saw something there. I don't know. Um, maybe I have to look for that. Um, getting back to the point, I know the parts of the game really well that I saw my girlfriend playing, and therefore I know that part. Yes, but then again, I don't know if there's a Silver Knight because my girlfriend actually just played to the part where the Silver Knights start to shoot at her, and there she stopped for now. So, actually, I'm just. Uh, on this playthrough, uh, uh, I did catch up to her and uh, I played further now. So <laughs> I have not like th uh, that much of fresh experience of the part with the Silver Knights itself or anything after that. Actually, I will gain that, I believe, because um, most likely today, I, after I recorded this episode, I will go to work and after work. Um, my, I'm meet up with my girlfriend at my place and most likely she wants to play some more Dark Souls so I think that uh, even though she plays a little bit slower than me in uh, a time span of uh, like around five hours she gets more done than I do in um, around 10 minutes. Like, I, it took me 10 minutes to catch up with her, and now, um, I'm playing a little bit uh, further, but uh, I won't do in more in 10 minutes than she does in 5 hours. Definitely not. Like, most likely she's not going to play 5 hours, more like 3 to 4 hours. Maybe, if she wants to play a lot. Come on. Come. Yeah, that's okay. Oh no, it's not. So when they do this uh, big swing, they might dodge after that. Not every time, but they might. Um, maybe you can time it even in a way that uh, they are not able to do that. So uh, if I'm not losing the stacks of swords, I might even get a lot of swords here. As you can see, the enemies here give you a ton of swords compared with uh, what we had before. I mean, uh, I think uh, the oh shit! I think uh, now like that they. Maybe no, 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 no one is going to fall off here. Okay, I need to kill both of them with my own hands. None of them is committing suicide. Let's uh, oh shit, that was close actually. They almost got me. Safe zone, huh? Okay, um, waiting for that arrow and go. Oh, can okay, there was. 
Oh no, there was no black uh, silver knight. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, oh, damn it! I thought I need another hit, but he fell off, and then I fell after him. Okay, that was super dumb. Um, need to be a little bit more care careful with those follow-up attacks. I think um, let's let's uh, say we only do two, and uh, after that we just uh, back off a moment. So actually, at that part, my poise comes in handy so much because um, I can power through a hit of the Silver Knights in close combat, which allows me to just uh, overpower them with sheer force. And to be honest, at that part of the game, you don't have access to too much strategy to fight that guy. You have to get in close and personal with him, otherwise he's keep shooting with his great bow and you don't want to get hit by that while you're up there. And um, then um, yeah, you have to. You, you don't have much uh, room to dodge anything. You don't have that much time because there's another guy who might want to shoot at you. I I'm right now not 100% clear how his range is. Maybe he can't even hit us there. But uh, the other time I got shot in the back there, so I wouldn't risk it. Um. Okay, come on, come closer. I don't want to pull the other guy. Get a little bit closer. Like that. That's good. I think uh, I can kill them with tools if I do a jumping heavy. So if I do that and then do a jumping heavy following up. Okay, that was... Uh, let, let's not do that. My strategy with the three hits is pretty reliable. Why would I do stupid stuff like that? The jumping heavy is uh, at this part. Just, it's really, if you use a weapon like that, especially if you use the bigger Black Knight weapons. Okay, the, the one-handed jumping attack is not something you... Oh. oh, nice. He fell off? No, he's not dead. He's not dead. What the fuck? Okay. I just uh, pulled the other guy there. Maybe the other guy wants to dodge at some point and falls off. Okay, the one handed jumping attack. They can dodge after that pretty fast. Oh shit. And they can cover a lot of range with that. Apparently. Okay, that one is a little bit slower. They can dodge after that still. Got him. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit. They hit me through that wall. That's not nice. N nice. One of them committed suicide. I think that's the one. Oh no. That's the one I already hit. Oh, I accidentally did a jump. I did not want to do that. Just wanted to roll. Okay, let's see. Can we make one of them commit suicide now? Okay, so the, what needs to happen is uh, they need to move at a similar pace like that. Now it's very likely that one of them will fall off eventually. No, they did. They do not want that. Just healing up here. Fuck you. Okay, I have a huge problem right now. So one of them is uh, just shooting. I need to kill one of them quick. Yes, uh, okay, I got that. 
Okay, I think uh, I never it never took me that much healing to get to this part in this episode. Obviously, I did worse in the past. Okay, so you can I think you can actually get knocked off there, but I'm not 100% positive on that. So, keep an eye on my uh Okay. I got him. See? No, he did not drop anything. It's a shame. But we got past this part. Okay. Um, let's check the time real quick. Oh, yeah. And uh, we are done with this episode. Um, I think in here there's a bonfire. Let's see, uh, I think it must be here. Yes! And there's a, there's Solaire. Let's talk to Solaire and end the episode. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliant design and signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> what was well, dude? I like him. You really are fond of chatting if I don't know. Okay. Let's sit on this bonfire. Let's also get the level ups there. Oh, the one level up that I can afford. More endurance. I need to be able to wear bigger wear bigger armor. Okay, um and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.